Hey everybody, today we're going to take a look at Transformers Commemorative Series 6 Autobot Grapple. Now Grapple was one of the very few Transformers I had when I was a kid. I know I had Thrust, I definitely had Grapple, and probably a couple of the mini-bots like Warpath and Cosmos, but I certainly didn't have a big collection of them. So this is the Hasbro reissue from 2003. Now normally I would avoid Hasbro reissues, because they generally aren't as good as they should be. And this one is no exception. However, Takara haven't bothered to give us a reissue of this one, which is a little bit annoying. We got Inferno, but not Grapple. So this was the best one I could find. So we've got the usual window box you can see there. There's some others, Red Alert, Skywalk Prowl, Smoke Screen and Grapple. You can see Grapple and his bits there. A little bit of tape residue. On the back we've got his stats and the old classic pictures, Optimus Prime transforming there, Megatron and Soundwave in the background. So for Grapple's accessories we get one, two fists that plug in and these are the same as the ones you get with Inferno. We get a little gun and we get three missiles, two on a sprue and one just to plug in and play with. Now you may have noticed these are chrome. Hasbro reissues don't bother chroming these normally, so I don't know what happened there. They actually got the gun and the fist straight because they're meant to be black, but quite often everything's black on these. When they're not meant to be, they're meant to be chromed. So it's actually a plus point for that. And here we have Grapple. Now, negative points. That hook is supposed to be chromed, and it isn't. And if we lift that up, that little bit there is supposed to be chrome, and it isn't. They managed to get chrome all over the rest of it and on the weapons, so I don't know why they managed to mess that up, but they did. So if you see one with a grey hook, it's the reissue. There is some little sticker differences as well. So looking around him, he's not too bad. I think that's, yeah, that's a printed on Autobot symbol there. It's not a sticker. The rest of them are stickers there. So, another little thing I noticed with this guy, that the original definitely didn't do. It has Ratchet joints, which I'm absolutely convinced it didn't originally. It does make this bit completely pointless because you're supposed to use that to stop it going all the way down. But it's got a really strong, really strong, you can hear it. That bit still slides out as it should. So inside, his rub sign is now here, where it used to be on the top here, which is a little bit odd. We still got the little seat that you could put your little Diaclone man in. I used to put Zoids men in mine, uh, the little gold and silver chromed guys from Zoids, which is a bit odd when you think about it. The Masterpiece Thundercracker came with a little chrome man, which just reminded me of Zoids. So, anyway, back to Grapple. He's quite tight joints, but we'll give him a transformation. He's dead easy, this guy. Apart from this little bit that you've got to unclip there. And then you sort of unfold him out, flip over his feet. Then around the back we move these arms out and around. Very, very tight joints on this. There we go. Now these bits move. I've never understood why, because you want them up in robot mode, and you want them there in crane mode, so... Not a clue why they do that, but they do if you want to move them. So once you've got them locked in, you bring this section round, flip over his head, like so, and he locks in under there, and then you take this whacking great crane piece, and you hear it clicking again, and that just goes around the back to support him. If you look at his head, he's now got blue eyes and little yellow bits on the side. I'm not sure if he always had the yellow bits, but I'm pretty sure he didn't have blue eyes before. I think that's been a little addition that they've done. And you'll notice he has no fists, because you can plug in missiles if you want to. If this was Japanese, you'd press that button and it'd fire. But it's not, so it doesn't. They just clip in and that's it. Very disappointing, that bit. But we can put his fists in, which is always the better look for him anyway. And to be fair, they do lock in rather nicely. And then we can give him his gun, which is identical to Inferno's. So for a reissue, the changes they've made have actually improved this guy, apart from maybe the lack of chrome on the hook. He looks better at the front because you don't have that sticker that was always getting trashed. Shame we can't get his rub sign, but it always got covered up there anyway. 
The ratcheting joint on this crane arm is brilliant. They should have done that in the first place. I don't know why they didn't. And just generally, he's really, really good. If he fired missiles, he'd be even better. But he doesn't, so there you go. So there you have Grapple from the Transformers Commemorative Series 6 from Hasbro. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.